I am at Weatherspoons right now. Got a ultimate burger with some onion rings, some chips, and garlic dip. And I've also got a alcoholic drink for once in the form of a Copperberg strawberry and lime drink. And I'm with Kieran. Hello, dear viewers. Hello, dear viewers. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, actually, I think it's only been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple so. of weeks. But Kieran's making a, his appearance in the 100th weekly vlog. Is it your 100th? It's my 100th weekly vlog. Oh, I didn't vlog. know that. <laughs> <laughs> the first weekly vlog of the year and my 100th one. But um, yeah, Kieran's got the same, haven't you? Um, Apart I've got from the, the garlic dip. Well, yeah, like the, the garlic dip. Yeah. yeah. But he's also and got a lot of onion rings. A lot of onion rings. I've only got like only a fair amount. Yeah. <laughs> There's Kieran, who's got loads. Yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> Kieran's been privileged. I am. <laughs> and Kieran's also got a Coca Cola well, for a Pepsi. drink. A well, Pepsi. Pepsi, Pepsi mm. drink, Ooh. yeah. How is Kieran, by the way? I'm doing well, thank you. Did you have a good Christmas and New Year? Yeah, I did actually. It was actually quite nice. It was pretty quiet. But... Pretty quiet, but yeah. decent, yeah. decent decent it enough. It was. It was quite decent. Actually. Yeah. And Kieran's going for his uh, driving test soon. Practical. Yeah, in a, in a couple of weeks. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just about to tuck in now and have my Weatherspoons lunch. So me and Kieran have got dessert. We have got Bramley apple crumble with some ice cream. Yeah, looks very appetising. Looks very appetising. And yeah, it does actually. I mean, we we've we always go for this, don't we? Yeah, well, I've, I've had the brownie before. Yeah, I've um, had the brownie one before. Nice. It's quite but nice. The, but the, the crumble. It's More filling. It is. <laughs> it, it, is yeah. it is good. Yeah. So we're going to tuck in and have this now. Hello there, steve and welcome to the 100th weekly vlog. We did it! That's right, we did it. We are 100 weekly vlogs since... I started weekly vlogging for my YouTube channel, Steve Official. What a big milestone this is. Um, now, as you just saw in those last couple of scenes there, I met up with my friend Kieran uh, over in Paul last week, uh, during my week off work. Uh, so I thought that I would have Kieran uh, join as part of the 100th weekly vlog celebrations, of course. Um, so a massive thank you to Kieran, by the way, uh, for meeting up with me last week and just having a chat, having a good laugh um, and just enjoying ourselves, really. Just absolutely enjoying ourselves. I really, really did enjoy our meet up last week and hopefully uh, we will meet up again. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, but it is Monday the 10th of January 2022. First weekly vlog of the year as well. Can I just point out lots uh, coming up for you uh, this week. Uh, including, uh, fingers crossed, meeting up with Kyra. Um, so hopefully I'll be meeting up with her a little bit later on this week. And you'll see a lot of footage of me and her together. I wanted to start off by uh, saying what I've kind of been up to this past week. Um, obviously I had the week off work. So I spent most of my week at home. Didn't really do much. Um, I did meet up with Kyra last week as it was her birthday, which you may have already seen in my uh, Steve's Vlogs with Kyra video. Uh, it was her birthday last week, so I celebrated her birthday with her. Uh, I met up with Kieran as well. Um, and I went out with my support worker um, and had a chat. It wasn't my usual Friday support worker, though, that I saw on Friday last week, it was a different one, um, but I met up with her, we went out, um, something to eat and uh, a drink and just had a bit of a chat really. Um, other than that though, um, ever since the new year, I have been binge watching TV shows. Um, I've kind of got this show that I've got on the background, I've got that on mute at the minute because obviously I'm vlogging. Um, but this past week, I have been... Uh, binge watching uh, Sully with a Chance, Dog with a Blog and Good Luck Charlie on Disney Plus. So those three shows I've been binging uh, for the last week. On my TV here in the background I am currently binge watching uh, Two and a Half Men as you can see. Uh, I'm binge watching that at the moment on Amazon Prime Video. So that's my fourth binge of the year. Um, so 
And I must say that I'm really enjoying this series. I've never really seen it before. I have heard of it, but never really actually sat down and watched it before. But there is quite a lot of this um, show, which is making me laugh out loud and stuff. Um, so, yeah, so really, really enjoying this. Um, also, as well, actually, last night... Um, before I went to bed, I went to bed very late actually, I went to bed at half past two this morning, um, but I went to bed and um, to be honest, there's a guy, a, a US comedian um, and actor I guess you could say, who sadly passed away at the age of 65 and uh, the circumstances around his death aren't yet known um, and it didn't sound like as if, you know, um, it sounded like he was in really good health and stuff. It was only about a day or so ago that he was actually posting on Twitter and Instagram about doing some live shows and touring um, around America and stuff to do some of his stand-up comedian shows. Uh, his name is Bob Sager, um, and he's really well known for playing Danny Tanner in Full House and Fuller House as well um he has been in some other shows in the past as well um but yeah he sadly passed away if like me you are into technology then feel free to check out Steve's weekly podcast episode 72 uh, which is available to listen to right now on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and Spotify Music. Uh, in that episode I am talking everything that was announced at CES 2022 which took place uh, last week. Uh, lots of tech and gadgets were announced at that event. My podcast is actually the longest podcast I've ever done. It's around about two hours and 20 minutes long because that's how much stuff there was that was announced at that event. There was a lot of tech and gadgets and I do go into a lot of technical details as well. So hopefully you do understand some of the tech stuff that I do uh, talk about in uh, the podcast. I think there's even some tech bits in the podcast that even I can't, I can't quite understand myself but I still talk about it anyway. But anyway, yeah, feel free to listen to that podcast right now. Uh, is up on uh, Steve's weekly podcast. Listen to it, like I say, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify Music. Right, OK, it is time for me to take my medication this morning. And I am also, uh, I've just made myself my first cup of tea of the day. Um, and I'm just about to prepare myself for a video chat with my support worker via Google Classroom on my iMac. So over the weekend, my mum was sorting out her bedroom and uh, she gave me a couple of things actually, um, just like candy or, or, or sweet wise. Um, she gave me uh, some of these. These are chocolate coins. I believe these might actually be white chocolate coins um but yeah so they're not they're not real money um sadly but uh yeah they're chocolate coins which i can have um so i thought that was really nice that she gave me uh some of those she also had an unopened box of after eight mints as well um so she's got loads of after eight mints to be honest so she gave me a box of that so i mean they're probably some. It's probably a box that I probably gave to her a little while ago. I don't know. Actually, what's the use by on this? Surely there's a use by. Oh yeah, there is. July. Uh, well, it's best before July 2019. So, <laughs> how long has that been in her cupboards for? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> and finally, I've got to go very careful with how I um, approach this. It's very dusty, I will admit, but I also got a little tub of uh, quality streets as well um which was it's funny because she handed it to me but when she went to hand it to me they all fell out on the floor um in her bedroom but yeah so she was sorting out her bedroom over the weekend very kindly gave me some chocolates to eat so i will definitely be devouring devouring those um a little bit later this week so it is Monday afternoon and uh, I've just been having a look because this week I'm going to be going to the cinema. I'm going to the cinema tomorrow to go and see uh, two brand new films, uh, The 355 and uh, The Kingsman. So you can expect to see me talk about those a little bit later on in uh, this week's weekly vlog. Um, but there is a couple of other movies that I do want to see. Uh, there's a movie that I wanted to see ever since before Christmas but because of the uh, 
uh, continuing rise in COVID cases and stuff. It's kind of prevented me from going to the cinema for a little while. Um, but I wanted to go and see West Side Story, um, but I was planning to go and see it on Thursday this week, but because... Um, because obviously I've decided this week that after not doing cooking since uh, before Christmas last year, I've decided that I'm going to uh, go back into doing some more cooking this week. I'm going to be cooking uh, towards the end of the week. Probably I might do Thursday and Friday this week in terms of cooking. Um, but I wanted to go and see West Side Story in the cinema, but because I kind of want to do some cooking on Thursday and Friday, and obviously the showing is quite late on Thursday uh, in the afternoon, um, and it is quite a long, lengthy movie as well, that does mean that I'm gonna, it's going to prevent me from going to the cinema to go and see the movie. So what I might do is, hopefully the movie is still going to be in cinemas um, on Friday and going into Saturday next week as well, or well, this weekend. Um, so hopefully I will go and see West Side Story uh, in the cinemas this weekend. If not, then, well, I'm just going to have to wait until it comes out on Disney+. Plus. Um, you know, which isn't really a big issue, but I would have much preferred to have seen this movie in cinemas. But like I say, obviously, I've kind of prevented myself from going to the cinema purely for the reason because of the Omicron surge in case numbers and stuff. Um, so, yeah, so the last movie I went and saw um, in cinemas was actually last month, um, which was Spider-Man No Way Home. That was the last movie that I saw. I saw that with Kyra last month. That was the last movie I went and saw before Christmas. Um, obviously, I didn't want to. I kind of wanted to prevent myself from catching COVID, so I kind of isolated uh, myself. But now that Christmas and New Year is over, you know, um, I've just decided that uh, I want to go back to the cinema. Obviously, because I do have um, my. Um, I do have my Odeon Pass and I've not yet used it so far this month and stuff. So in order to kind of um, get some use out of it, I've kind of decided that this week I want to go to the cinema, go and see a couple of good movies in the cinema, um, which does include seeing the 355, um, uh, The Kingsman, uh, West Side Story. I do also want to see Licorice Pizza and I do also want to see Scream, the fifth uh, Scream movie in the franchise. So whether or not I'm going to see uh, Licorice Pizza and Scream this week, I don't think I will. I will probably save those until either next week or the week after. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back into the cinema though. It's been a couple of weeks since I last went to the cinema. Um, and yeah, all in all, really look forward to going back to the cinema. Something that is brand new for me uh, going into 2022 is this year, as I mentioned earlier in my uh, weekly vlog, that I am binge-watching shows, and obviously I've been binging uh, Dog With The Blog, Good Luck Charlie, and Sunny With The Chance on Disney Plus over the last week, and now uh, I'm binge-watching Two and A Half Men on Amazon Prime Video. You may recall last year um, on the weekly vlogs, on a Wednesday and a Friday, I was watching certain shows and certain movies and stuff on um, streaming services like Prime Video, Britbox, uh, Disney Plus and Netflix. Well, this year I am going to be focusing a lot more on binge watching TV shows, which does mean that some of the new episodes and stuff of certain shows that are dropping on Netflix or Prime Video or Disney Plus, I'm not going to be watching on a weekly basis. Uh, instead, I'm going to be binge watching the shows as and when uh, all episodes are available on those streaming services. I'll give you a prime example. Uh, a major title on Disney Plus right now is uh, Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett. Um, now that series is going to be running between now and the early part of February. I believe February 9th is the last episode of the series. It's a seven part series. Um, so what I am going to do is I am going to be watching all seven episodes on the 9th of February uh, in sort of a binge watch rather than just watching one episode a week and a week and then waiting the next week for the next episode to drop and I'm going to do the same with all the other shows that are dropping on Disney Plus or on Netflix or Prime Video etc 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 all throughout uh, this year as well.
So I've just moved uh, moved over to Disney Plus and I'm just about to watch Kingsman The Secret Service over on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom as I prepare myself to get ready to watch The Kingsman in the cinemas tomorrow. Okay, so for dinner tonight I have got a pucker pie, bowl tea flavoured pie, I've also got some chips, uh, peas and some ketchup to go with my kit. And on my iPad I'm currently watching the sequel to Kingsman Secret Service, uh, which is Kingsman The Golden Circle, and I'm watching that right now on my iPad. For dessert I have got a slice of carrot cake. Monday night and I have just got my hat, my coat and my trainers on as I'm just about to take Buddy out for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. Um, I have also got my work uniform ready for tomorrow so that's all ready to go for me to get on in the morning when I wake up because I am back at work tomorrow after having a lovely week off. Um, and I'm just about to go downstairs as well and I'm about to clean out my flask that I'm going to take with me to work tomorrow morning and I'm also going to make myself my last cup of tea uh, of, to, of this evening as well and take my medication. As soon as I get back, um, I'm probably just going to end up having a shower, get into my pyjamas and head off to bed. So I will talk to you guys in the next part of the weekly vlog, which will be Tuesday morning. Very good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday morning. It is Tuesday morning, back at work. Uh, normal uh, scheduling and stuff like that now. Uh, it is Tuesday morning. It's around about half past four in the morning. Just woke up. Just got dressed into my work uniform and I'm currently taking Buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood and by looks of things it's a little bit muggy outside this morning. Okay, so I've just made my flask of tea to take with me to work. All I need to do now is put my Apple Watch on my wrist and I'll be ready to go to work. So I'm currently on my way to work as I'm doing a quarter past six to quarter past ten shift at work. Back at that again. Um, last night I watched Kingsman, uh, the Secret Service in Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Uh, obviously because I'm going to see the Kingsman a little bit later on. Really enjoyed the first one. The second one weren't too bad, a lot of action in it, a little bit of comedy and humour in it as well. But I would probably say I prefer the first one, the Secret Service, to the Golden Circle. Um, so I thought that one was probably the better one and out of the two. Um, obviously you can watch uh, Kingsman Secret Service on Disney Plus right now if you live in the UK. Um, and probably in some other countries as well. Look forward to seeing Kingsman later today um, and seeing what that movie is like. So I've just got into work. I've just made myself a flask of coffee which I'm going to drink in the next 15 minutes as I'm going to be starting work in about 15 minutes time. So I've just got home from work after doing a quarter past six to quarter past ten shift today. I'm now just about to get out of my work uniform. Just taken my morning medication and I have also just uh, brushed my teeth as well and now I'm currently outside taking Buddy for his second walk of the day. Going to take him around the neighbourhood though because it is looking a little bit damp and it'll be too wet on the field so I'm going to take him around the neighbourhood. So I'm currently waiting for the bus as I'm just about to head off and go and get the bus into Bournemouth Town Centre as I'm about to go to the cinema. Right, screen seven for my first movie of the year at the cinema, which is the 355. Let's go. Oh, so it is Tuesday evening. Just got back from the cinema after watching the 355 and the Kingsman at the cinema at Odeon BH2 in Bournemouth. And I must say that those movies weren't too bad. They weren't like great movies to go and watch i mean to be honest the 355 has literally just come out uh in the last few days the kingsman i believe came out just after christmas i believe on boxing day so it wasn't like as if i was in a major rush to go and see those movies to be honest um and i don't think it'll be like as if i'm gonna go and rush to see those movies again at the cinema or when they do get released digitally um, on like Prime Video or Disney Plus or wherever they end up going to. Um, but what I can say though is that the movies were decent. That's what I can say. The movies were decent. 
weren't too bad. They did have a bit of light humour, light comedy in it. They had a lot of action sequences in it. The only problem I had with the 355 was that the camera uh, was very, very shaky. Like, literally, I'll give you an example. This is the this is the action sequence. Ha, 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 ha. Like that. And literally, you would... Like, the camera was shaking like that all throughout the movie. Um... In terms of the action sequences in The Kingsman, it was a lot better, to be honest. I uh, really did enjoy The Kingsman a little bit more, I think, than I did the 355. Um, but, yeah, it, it weren't bad, though, the cinema trip that I had today. Obviously, there weren't many people in the cinema screenings, in both cinema screenings. And even if there was, everyone was keeping a distance. I decided, for my safety, to keep my face covering on. It was funny, though, because every time I went to take a drink... I was literally lowering my face mask, having a drink, and then putting my face mask back up again. And same when I was eating my chocolate bars and uh, my sweets as well. I was like literally like lifting up my face mask and sticking uh, some candy in my mouth and then literally going... And then, yeah, literally just uh, putting my face mask back on again. So... Yeah, so that's what I was doing really at the cinema. What I'm about to do right now is I'm currently on my TV in my bedroom and I'm just about to watch two classic episodes of EastEnders on my TV in my bedroom on UK TV Play. For dinner this evening I've got beef casserole and I've got a slice of bread to use with my casserole mix. So I've just finished watching Classic Doctor Who on BritBox, finished watching an episode of that and I'm currently now watching uh, some episodes of Two and a Half Men as part of my binge watch on Amazon Prime Video. Right, okay, I'm currently watching an episode of Arrow on my iMac and I have also just made my last cup of tea of the evening and I'm just about to take my medication for the evening as well get into my pyjamas and head off to bed after I finish watching this episode of Arrow so I will speak to you guys in the next part of the weekly vlog which will be Wednesday Wednesday afternoon, halfway through the week which means we're halfway through the weekly vlog I'm currently outside on my way to Bournemouth Hospital haven't got a hospital appointment though worry guys um i'm off to go and get the bus to go to kyra's house and go and see kyra so without further ado let's see kyra so i am at kyra's house in kyra's bedroom at the moment and we have got our kfc uh which is what we've got uh kyra's just gone to get some plates actually kyra's here now it's Kyra. Oh, shit, I pressed on the wrong one. I got Tango, never mind. <laughs> you got Tango and I got... <laughs> so, yeah. I, I got a Pepsi Max. So pressed... <laughs> Your thumb was too big for the Pepsi Max button. It chose Tango instead. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But we've got... I've got 7-Up um, for drink. And Kyra's wanted to get a Pepsi Max. But instead got a Tango Orange. Mm. Christmas boxes still for KFC, even though Christmas is over. I tested negative, by the way, for COVID. How is Kyra? I'm alright. Yeah, I'm hungry. not too bad. Hmm? Hungry. Hungry, yeah. I've, I've been hungry all morning, to be fair. Even at work, I've been pretty hungry. Like, oh. But, uh, wow. This does look good. Look at this. Mmm. Looks so good. Okay, so I'm the first person to play on Kyra's new Xbox. She got a Series X for her birthday, an Xbox Series X for her birthday, and I happen to be the first person to play a game on her Xbox, and it happens to also be Microsoft Flight Simulator, a game that I've wanted to play for a very, very long time. Uh, it's not coming to Xbox One anytime soon, I don't believe. Um, and also as well, I don't think it will. Um, I think it will only be an Xbox Series X exclusive. I don't think we can see this game coming to Series uh, to the um, Xbox One anytime soon. But I am playing it though. Um, so we'll just see. Uh, oh, that's just the accessibility features, which is fine. So I'll just press next for that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this game, seeing what it's like, and. I mean, this, the loading levels is really, really quick, especially when you go from the menu on the Xbox Series X to the game itself. It's really, really fast in that sort of sense. So I'm loving the load-up times of this already. Um, definitely feels like next-generation gaming, for sure. Um, but yeah, really look forward 
to play in some of this. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Game of the Year edition. Me and Kyra, Kyra has very kindly uh, made me and her a, one of her specialities, let's say. The famous, the famous, famous, the famous pancake, cake. pancake cake, which is what, a three a layered? three layer with Nutella. With Nutella chocolate spread. Yeah. Okay, Go. well, I'm, I'm going to try some. And try some. Mmm, let's have a look. See what this tastes like. Mmm. The middle's better because there's like a mm. lot of Nutella in the middle. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Very toasty. Pancake cake. Mmm. Only available at Kyra's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only available at Kyra's house. So, Kyra's given me a Copperberg, a nice can of Copperberg cider to drink on this Wednesday afternoon. So I've just got back from seeing Kyra, currently watching two classic episodes of EastEnders on UK TV play on my bedroom, uh, in my TV in my bedroom. And I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Kyra for today. Honestly, really do appreciate it. Absolutely enjoyed the pancake cakes uh, that she made uh, for us both. It took her about 10, 15 minutes to make. So I really do appreciate the thought and the timing that she did uh, into making those. I really do appreciate that an awful lot. Um, and also as well, a massive thank you to Kyra as well for buying both me and her uh, a KFC for lunch. Honestly, I really, really do appreciate that as well. Um, and yeah, I really did enjoy playing on her Xbox Series X console. She has done a weekly vlog herself, which I will leave in the description box down below for you, uh, for you guys to watch. She did do a little bit of footage of me playing on her Xbox Series X console, playing uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So you'll get to see that in her weekly. For dinner tonight, I have got a bacon cheeseburger pie with some chips and some tomato ketchup. A very good morning everyone, welcome to Thursday's part of the weekly vlog. Just woke up, just got dressed into my work uniform and I am currently taking Buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. So, I am currently walking to work on this Thursday morning. Currently I'm going to be doing a quarter past six to a quarter past twelve. I just got into work and I'm just about to have my flask of coffee before I start work. For dinner tonight, I've got spaghetti bolognese. Okay, it is Thursday night. Just got off video call with my friend Kieran on Skype. Had a lovely video call with him this evening. All throughout today, by the way, I have been watching uh, the Scream movies. Obviously, brand new Scream movie. The fifth one in the franchise is available to watch at your local cinema right now. Definitely go, go and check that out. Oh, I'm currently watching the very first episode of the Mars Singer UK, which is available to watch on BritBox here in the UK. Uh, so if you are a BritBox subscriber, you can watch the first two series uh, right now. The third series is currently airing on ITV every Saturday night at the moment. So I should assume it'll be on BritBox uh, in the next couple of weeks or in the next month or so. I am now just about to get my trainers on, get my jacket on and take Buddy out for his last walk of the evening. Probably just going to take him around the neighbourhood though because it is 10 o'clock, it is quite late out there um, and I don't want to take him too far, especially in the dark. So probably just going to take him around the neighbourhood for his last walk of the evening. Very good morning everybody and welcome to Friday morning's part of the weekly vlog on my my iMac right now I'm currently watching an episode of Arrow um, and I have also just been watching um, some episodes of Coronation Street on ITV Hub catching up uh, this week with uh, this week's episodes um, just very quickly we'll take a look and see what's going on outside this morning uh, it's looking very sunny blue sky not a single cloud in the sky by the looks of it it uh, looks like a really nice day a little bit of a frosty day as well um, but yeah looking very very nice anyway I am now just about to get dressed so just got back from taking buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighborhood just had some breakfast as well for breakfast later had chocolate uh, square pillows cereal um and i've also um just made my first cup of tea of the day and taken my medication currently watching a classic episode of dot who 
on BritBox on my iMac and I'm waiting for my support worker who should be with me in the next uh, five minutes or so. For dinner tonight I have got some lasagna. Friday night and I'm currently watching tonight's episode of Coronation Street live from ITV Hub on my iMac. Okay, so I'm now watching some more episodes of Two and a Half Men as part of my binge watch on Amazon Prime Video. And I am also just about to take Buddy, who I have got right here, by the way. He's been with me all evening, uh, just sat with me um, watching EastEnders and Coronation Street and Emmerdale, haven't you, Bud? You've been sat with me. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice little kiss. Um, yeah, I'm just about to take him for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to um, make myself my last cup of tea of the evening, have a shower, get into my pyjamas and get myself ready for work tomorrow because I've got work early in the morning. So I will speak to you guys in the next part of the weekly vlog, uh, which will be Saturday morning. It is Saturday morning and I have got, woke up got dressed into my work uniform and starting off my day by taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. Okay, so I've just made myself my cup of tea or flask of tea to take with me to work. All I need to do now is put my Apple Watch on my wrist and I'll be ready to go to work. So, I'm currently on my way to work as I'm doing a quarter past six till quarter past eleven shift, my normal Saturday shift today at work. I have taken my tripod off my camera because for some weird reason the remote control wasn't connecting with the camera. I think the Bluetooth may have cut out on my camera and uh, tripod. So I'm going to have to sort that out uh, when I get home from work. But uh, yeah, so I'm halfway on my way to work on this Saturday morning. So just got home from work after doing a quarter past six to quarter past eleven shift at work today. And just got home, got out of my work uniform put the shopping away as well I'm going to be doing cooking on Monday and Tuesday night next week so you'll see that in uh, next week's weekly vlog what I do end up cooking on Monday and Tuesday night next week but I am currently out taking Buddy for his second walk of the day around the backfield on this Saturday afternoon and my mum and my sister this afternoon are upstairs in my bedroom decluttering my bedroom um, <laughs> it is a little bit of a tip. To be honest, not all of it is my stuff. There is stuff in my room which happens to be my mum, so I'll be glad that, you know, the top area of my bed is going to be kind of tidier than what it is at the minute, so a lot of it is my mum's stuff, admittedly. Um, yeah, she just needs to find room for it. That's all. She needs to find room. But uh, this afternoon, I am going to be dog-sitting uh, JJ and Buddy and Simba, so I'm on dog-sitting duty uh, this afternoon. Um, and I'm also going to watch some episodes of of uh, Two and a Half Men on Prime Video um, as well as watching a classic episode of Doctor Who on BritBox and an episode of Arrow on my uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device as well. Saturday night, I do apologise that I've not uh, vlogged much uh, today. Obviously, I've been watching Two and a Half Men and dog sitting all this afternoon. For dinner, by the way, I had uh, spaghetti bolognese for dinner, um, so which was really, really nice. Uh, my sister has gone home, she will be back tomorrow and we're still sorting things out in my bedroom. Uh, the top of my bed is nice and clear though, which is good. Uh, all I've got on it at the minute is just some work uniform and some paperwork which I need to go through and stuff and need to decide whether it needs to be filed or shredded or etc etc. So I'll go through that tomorrow. I also apparently need to go through... All my drawers where my TV and my iMac are sitting above, I need to go through all those drawers and get rid of bits from there and I also need to go through my wardrobe and sort my clothes out but to be honest with you, I'm probably just going to do my drawers tomorrow and I'm probably going to leave my, um, my wardrobe until maybe some point this week or maybe even next weekend, it's just, you know... I do work, <laughs> you know, I do work, and also as well, I've got this video to upload and edit and stuff tomorrow, so, yeah, I'm not doing too much at all, to be honest with you, I'll probably 
do half of my drawers or something. I will sort something out tomorrow. But I'm not doing everything tomorrow afternoon. Because if I do everything tomorrow afternoon, I know for a fact that I'm just going to crash and burn. I'm now just about to get myself ready uh, for bed because I am extremely tired. I've not had a nap today. Um, and I just think that I'm probably just going to get an early night. Now I'm about to watch episode 15 of series 1 of Arrow on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and I'm also just about to have a shave as well. One of my favourite YouTubers, Sophie Dodsworth, has got a brand new YouTube video out. It's her morning routine uh, that she does between the hours of 6am till 9am um, every morning, on a weekday morning, should we say. Uh, that video is out on her YouTube channel, Sophie Dodsworth, right now. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box uh, down below below i've just finished watching that video on youtube um and uh, she did a bit of a morning workout uh, she uh, was drinking a smoothie and reading a book and oh she's done so much like literally wakes up from 6 a.m and from the from 6 a.m till 9 a.m you'd be shocked um at what she does within that time period and it's about a nine minute long video so uh yeah so feel free to check that video out after finishing watching this week's uh, weekly vlog. Uh, another YouTube uh, YouTuber that I just want to very quickly mention. And again, I will leave uh, the link in the description box down below. But Kyra's uh, weekly vlog is available uh, to watch. I believe this is her ninth weekly vlog uh, that's available to watch on her YouTube channel, Blue Butterfly. Feel free to subscribe uh, to her YouTube channel. She very much appreciate that i know for sure um but obviously i am going to make an appearance uh in this weekly vlog because obviously when i did go and see her earlier this week um she did do a, a couple of scenes of me and her together for her weekly vlog so i do appear in that one Again, feel free to uh, give her video a watch after this week's weekly vlog and give her a subscribe. Um, like I say, she really would appreciate that an awful lot. Um, anyway, so it is now 10.36 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. It is time for me now to head off to bed because I have got work early in the morning. So I will bid you all good night. And I will speak to you guys in the next scene of the weekly vlog, which will be Sunday morning. Very good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday morning's part of the weekly vlog. It's Sunday morning. Just woke up, just got dressed. And I've also opened my bedroom windows as well to kind of allow some air to get into my bedroom this morning uh, and today, really. Um, but I am currently outside taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. So, I've just made myself my flask of tea to take with me to work. All I need to do now is put my Apple Watch on my wrist and I'll be ready to head off to work. So, I've just got into work because I'm doing a quarter past six till uh, quarter to seven till quarter to twelve shift at work today. Just made my flask of tea and I'm currently checking social media like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. on my phone while listening to some music on Apple Music. So, just got home from work after doing a quarter to seven till quarter to twelve shift at work. Just about to get out my work uniform right now. Taking Buddy out for his second walk of the day around the backfield. So, I've just made myself a very, very dark looking cup of tea, I know. Uh, didn't really have a lot of milk, to be honest, in the milk bottle. Couldn't be bothered to open up a new milk bottle to... Uh, pour some more milk in it. So that's how dark I'm having my tea this afternoon. Uh, don't judge and stuff. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it is day two of cleaning out my bedroom. And obviously, as you know, yesterday my mum and my sister was in my bedroom cleaning it all out. Most of it is all cleaned out, but I'm going to do my drawers this afternoon. So I'm going to do from the top ones, probably down to these ones here. All these cables, they can pretty much go because, to be honest, I don't even use them. So I might just get rid of them. Just literally get rid of, get rid of them. Uh, I've got black sacks here. That black sack I started yesterday. That's a new one just in case I fill up that one there. So there we go. But uh, yeah, so I'm just about to do that right now. 
Saturday afternoon, 3.35, and I've been watching Toy I'm Story 3 on lost. Disney Plus, and now I've moved on to Toy Story Let's 4 on Disney Plus. We've got a carnival to watching classic Doctor Who on, on Brickbox. Now currently watching Arrow on my Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 Plus. Okay, and that is about it for today's weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll be back again next week with another weekly vlog, which will be weekly vlog 101. But from me, though, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.